Hello everyone, Rice Time 911 here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about changing your mods. Store name and brand name, mod name, all that fun stuff, and store image and brand picture. So let's get right to that. So to start off with, we're going to look at the mod desk and the XML. So that's these two right here. So let's go in there. So the XML and also the mod desk. So these are the two files we're going to focus on when we're trying to change the brand name and the shop name and all that fun stuff for a vehicle in-game in Farming Simulator 2017. So, let's get started then. So, in the mod desk, the lines that are important here are these ones along here. Author, version, title, and description, and icon file name. Those ones are the most important when you're looking to change info about your vehicle in-game. So, to start off with, author. That's who made it. You can put your name, or your nickname, or whatever, and that's who will show who made it when in game. Version, basically whatever version you want to put in there that your mod is. Maybe you made an update and you can put 1.2 or 1.1. And title, so this is the name that shows up for the mod in the list when you go into one of your save games, and you're picking out the mods that you want to use in that save game, well this is the name that will show up in that list, under title, right here. Description, that's basically what, a little description about your vehicle, it's pretty much self-explanatory, and you can type whatever you want here about it, such as this is a Dodge Van. And icon file name, so this is a store picture, so icon file name, and according to this we can see that it says it's in the folder textures, and the file name is store.dds. So let's go take a look at that. So if we go to the folder textures, and the file store, that's store.dds, so we'll see that there is our texture file for our store picture, so when you go to buy the vehicle in game, this will be the picture for the mod when you go to see it in the store. So that's pretty much just all about it. So whatever picture you want to show up in the store you put here. Okay. So now moving on to the XML. This here, what we're going to look at in the XML is a line called under store data, so right here, that block. So store data, right here. So name, this is the most important part here. This is the name that will show up in the shop in game for your vehicle when you go buy it. So wherever you want the name for your vehicle to be, that's what you put in there. And again, image. This is a store image at texture, the folder textures slash store.dds. Price, you change that to change how much it costs. Daily upkeep, how much it costs you every day. You can change that number to whatever you want. Something ridiculous like that, if you want to. You can change this as well to any number, just no letters. And lifetime, not really sure what that does, but yeah, I think that's how much it costs you in maintenance or something. And brand. Now for brand. So brand, when you're doing brand, actually that's in the mod desk, so. When you're doing brand, you need this piece of code, which I'll put in the description or however I can get to you. And when you're doing your brand name, in between these quotation marks you got to put the brand that you want in capital letters. This first one always has to be capital letters. So let's say I had Toyota, I'd have to put Toyota. Or if I had BMW, BMW, like that. But this is a Dodge, so Dodge. 
and R always has to be capital. Now the next one, this one doesn't have to be capital, it can just be just like this. It can be lowercase, mostly lowercase, so that's the name of the brand that will show up in game. This basically is just a reference for to find your brand. Okay? And now image equals, so again, this is where it's going to look for your brand image. So let's go see that. Okay, so our BAM, and it's here brand.dds, but as you can see, it's not in the folder textures, it's in the main folder of our mod we're working on. So I'll change that to brand.dds, and here it is. So pretty much you can go in here and you can paste in a brand, like you can just paste in a picture of Ford or whatever, or BMW, whatever brand you have, and it'll be good to go, then you save it up and put it back. So there you go. And that's adding brand. And now the last thing you need to do to add your brand is, again, go to the XML and under store data, where it says brand here, put in capital letters your brand name. So make sure that this here matches this over here. So there you go. Then you save up everything you've changed. Save it all up. File save. And then you zip it all back up and you can see your changes. So I do hope this video has been helpful to you in changing the brand and the store image, brand image, and all that in game. And also I'll be including the DDS file for brand and store image, a couple sample ones for you so that you can have the correct sizes of the images if you want to have a custom image or something like that for your mod, for a store, or brand. So I'll include these files for you to have if you want them in the description below. So yeah, thanks for watching, and this is Rice Time 911, and I'll see you in the next video.